not Joe Franklin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have the very pleasant task of introducing a living legend, the one and only King of Neuralgia, uh, excuse me, King of Nostalgia himself. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Mr. Joe Franklin. <laughs> days when the Dead Sea was only sick. <laughs> My first guest ever on TV was Moses. When Moses had a headache, I said, take two tablets. I go way back. I just want to say, I want to say that I've uh, been asked to introduce a few people who don't really need introductions, but you're in for a great, great night tonight, and uh, the guest of honor is Drew Friedman. You're going to meet Drew Friedman momentarily. And you've got to believe this. I've got telegrams backstage from... Uh, Mayor Koch, Mayor Bloomberg, there was one man, you know, I was the first one to do business on TV. I got a telegram from the, you know, the, the corporate raider, the takeover king, Carl Icahn? You know the name, right, somebody? Yeah. 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 I got to tell you, I, I told this on the radio once, I got to tell it to you fast before I bring out the first guy. When Carl Icahn owned TWA Airlines, I'll get ready for this, he had a very important client of his going on the plane to go to Israel. So he says to his crew, this is Mrs. Goldberg, very important lady in my, in my business, keep her happy. So she gets on the plane with her dog, put the dog in steerage, she gets to Israel, and guess what? The dog is dead. Oh my God. Said, oh, we're all going to get fired. They ran to the captain. The captain in the cockpit. There's a captain. Terrible news. Mrs. Goldberg's dog. Dead. Said, oh, we're, we're all going to get fired. I got an idea. About 10 minutes into Jerusalem, or Tel Aviv is, is a, a veterinarian shop. Maybe, 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 maybe you might be able to match the dog. Maybe. They say, we'll try it. They take the dog to the veterinarian shop, and guess what? They are able to match the dog. Bring the dog back, put, take out the dead dog, put in a live dog, bring it out to Mrs. Goldberg. Mrs. Goldberg says, that is not my dog. I said, Mrs. Goldberg, of course that's your dog. She said, no, that is not my dog. She said, Mrs. Goldberg, that is, she said, no, that's not my dog. My dog is dead. Bring my dog to Israel to bury it. <laughs> that is a true story. I'm going to bring out now the first guest. Reminds me of the only magician that I really knew his name was, was uh, there was a team once called, called, uh, called uh, Block and Sully, Block and Sully, Jesse Block and Eve Sully, they were like Burns and out. They broke, they stayed married, they broke up, and Jesse Block became a stockbroker. He goes out to California one day at the Hillcrest Country Club, he sees all his clients <coughs> at the table, Al Jolson, Eddie Canada, George Burns, Harry Richmond, Al, so, and, but there's one lady who was not his client, was Remember the name Fanny Bryce? Yes. Baby Snooks? Yes. She, it was very sad. She, she, she was 50 now. She died at the age of 60 of, term, of advanced Alzheimer's. But he was so excited. He said, Ms. Bryce, I'm so thrilled to meet you. She goes, oh, oh, oh. Ha, sad. He says, when we were little kids in Vaudeville, my wife and I, we broke in Vaudeville in Los Orientals, Chicago, on the same bill with you. She goes, oh, we were so excited. He goes, we were just two little kids, and you were a great, great star. She goes, oh, we were only making $75, you were making $75. She goes, no, $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a joke. That's what... <laughs> 